Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Game On by Blueprint Bags. If you like fast bags, if you like speed, this Game On is something you definitely want to pay attention to, maybe even check out. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's break these bags down. I'll tell you everything I know about them, everything I found out about them. We'll start with materials on these Game Ons. Slow side here, this is the, I'm pretty sure it's the same material as the fast side of like the Viking, the Pro Advantage. It's the slow side of the Buffalo Ambush, so the Fire Heat, slow side of the swag bags ruby the viper but it doesn't have the dots on there you know it, it's it's a slow side of a lot of faster bags fast side of a lot of the slower carpet bags i call it a seven speed it's fast but controllable it's it's a wonderful material if you just want to run bags put your you know put your four bags and try to outscore your opponent so seven speed on the slow side here fast side this is that game changer surefire fast side it's a fast material i call it about an eight and a half so we're playing an eight and a nine so it falls around about eight and a half most conditions it's 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 great for for pushing collecting for 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 running up the board in in most conditions you know so we're looking at about a seven eight and a half speed on this i, I will say for for condition wise it, this is a wonderful bag for dry boards wonderful bag for normal to slower boards if boards start getting damp sticky from humidity or any kind of moisture i will say this slow side does start to slow down pretty quickly although it's it still moves so you know it, it becomes maybe more of like a four eight speed bag or something this fast side still moves pretty well in humidity slow side doesn't as much so just be aware of that but it's i wonder if you get in a situation where you're playing conditions are changing you can just flip over the fast side there's not a big difference in speed and you can run the fast side in those damp sticky humid conditions you can still make it work template wise this is a medium template bag uh, it's it's got a i'm gonna say it's on the, it's a medium to thinner amount of fill it, it, it's not a super thin bag and it's probably because it's not a really large if it was a larger template bag it would be thin but there's quite a bit of flop here you've got a ton of flop on this bag it's not the floppiest bag i've thrown but it's definitely on the floppier side of bags out there the fill in here is a mixed fill there's a mixture of some flat fills i found a few beads in here it's a nice mixture honestly for for what it is the bag still has forgiveness right it's, it's not a real bouncy active fill so if you don't throw the flattest of bags you've got to tilt and angle your bag even a nose down bag the bag's not going to hit and really kick on you it's going to flatten out and run straight true so very forgiving on the landing there's enough flop here you get it up by the hole it's going to grab as long as you can get this group to grab the hole it's going to spin around both these materials are very hole friendly it's going to it's going to come in I, I don't really recall having a lot of bags left hanging on the hole because you've got faster materials you've got a good mixture of fill i think the bags really do a good job of dripping in the hole these bags are also aco stamped so if you play an aco event you need to have a stamp bag these game mons are aco approved now let's go ahead and jump in and talk about playability on this and pretty straightforward bag it, you know it's a fast bag both sides are fast it's designed to just run bags in the hole put your four bags in outscore your opponent outlast your opponent move on round around that way it's really a high ppr style bag it's not a bag that you're shaping shots with it's not a bag you're throwing a lot of blockers or planetary style game with it's not a great bag for throwing cuts you can you can take the slow side you get enough angle you can get kind of a slight cut but not much at all and, but that also leads to the fact that it, it doesn't have a kick right the kick is the cut so if you have a bag that cuts you're going to have a bag that kicks if you get a bag that doesn't kick it's not going to cut it's the same it's the same angle you get so if you want to throw a cut you gotta get really aggressive with your angles on the bag to really get that bag to grab and cut and even then you're making soft subtle cuts but i don't really feel like this is a bag you need to be cutting and, and the same with roll like, like if you're if you're an advanced roll bag player you can roll this bag if you know how to flop bags you can flop it but the average to below average roll flop style player is not really rolling or flopping this bag it's just that's just not what it's designed to do but when you're playing an opponent who's a dirty who plays a dirty style game and throws blockers up there you, you're either going to airmail over this bag you're going to push through it or you're going to play kind of a get around and that's kind of that to me that's where this bag is better suited and instead of the cuts the rolls the flops it's the get around because it has the flop to it that that corner accordions up so if there's a blocker there, you can step out kind of aim for the corner of the bag you're, you're going to kind of collapse up, bully the bag out of the way, you spin around, your bag goes in, you're going to leave your opponent's blocker there, maybe even move it out of the way a little bit, make it a little harder for them to collect. That's the style of game you play with this bag more so than shot shaping with cuts, rolls, and flop. But if you're a fast bag thrower, you know that you, like fast bag throwers aren't ones that throw cuts, rolls, and flops, right? That's not their style of game. If you're buying this bag, you probably already know that. It is a good bag for getting in the hole and getting around blockers. It's a wonderful bag if you do play an opponent who has a dirty style game. This is a great bag to pull out because one, next to the other blocker, you can just push through, keep the boards clean. This fast side is plenty fast enough for pushing through even the, the stickiest of bags out there. You have no problem doing it. You don't have to get aggressive. You know, if there's a blocker there, you're, you're not having 
swing it aggressive on the fast side. Normal throw, you're still gonna push through it, no problem whatsoever. Multiple bags, you can push through it. Even the slow side is fast enough that you really can push through most bags out there with not, not a lot of problems. So I have no problem pushing through, keeping the bags clean, keeping the boards clean. Again, you've got the get around, you've got the, the flop of the bag that you can get it just in the hole, near the hole, it's probably gonna go in. Both materials I mentioned, very hole friendly. The mixed fill does a great job of the bags dripping in the hole. So I felt like if I could get a bag up near the hole, it was going to drip in, no problem whatsoever. Now, on the downside, where, where the, and I'm going to nitpick here, but, but where I had the problem, and, and, and listen, I'm not a fast bag thrower. This is not my style of game. This is not my style of bag. I like to throw a little more controllable, a little slower material because I tend to be more of a, I throw better when I throw harder. I don't throw as well when I throw softer. And a bag like this, I've got to be a little more finesse, a little higher arc, get the bag to lay in softer. Otherwise, my bags are flying off the back. And that was where I was having issues sometimes is, bags skipping over the hole. I was throwing a little too hard and they would skip over the hole. Sometimes I missed, they were off the back of the board, you know, or even if they stayed on the board, they were missing past the hole where they're out of play. And so this is definitely more of a bag where if you're a consistent thrower and you just, you're very consistent, you can hit the same spot time and time again, but you can't really do a lot of, you know, you're not comfortable with the tilt of the bags and orientation, so you're not trying to get fancy shots. You just want to land and go in. That's what this bag works in. If you hit in that same spot every time, it's going to slide up. It's going to go in the hole, no problem whatsoever. So if you're looking for a faster bag, if you play kind of that just bag for bag in the hole, you're not looking at doing anything crazy, this is the bag for you. You know, if you do throw blockers up there, and you can, you can especially on a stickier board, you can put a blocker up there. You can you can control get a blocker. Just know if you do put a blocker up there for the collectability, as I mentioned, it, they do accordion up, so you've got to get a little more intentional and come more to the middle of the bag. You can't clip the corner, more to the middle of the bag to collect it. If you come and clip the corner, the bags are just going to accordion up, and you're, you're, you're more than likely going to push your blocker back out of the way or go around it and leave it. So just be aware, if you do have a blocker up there, you got to get more intentional to go after it if you need to. But because they're very hole-friendly, it doesn't take a lot. So if you grab, if you just get that bag to spin up near the hole, it's probably going to drip in. So all in all, the bags want to go in the hole. This is definitely a bag if, you, if, you're, if you're looking to improve your PPR, looking to play. A deck around, ghost cornhole, round holios, whatever, where you're just trying to get a high score. This game on is definitely the type of bag for that. That leads me into availability on this. And Blueprint Bags has a website. It's blueprintcornholebags.com. Put a link down in the description for you guys to click on if you want to go check them out. The bags were $79.95 or $79.99. I can't remember. It was just under 80 bucks for a set of bags and $9.95 shipping. So just under 90 bucks shipped to you, which is kind of that mid to lower price range. I mean, I have no problem paying 90 bucks for a quality set of bags. I think that's what these are. And again, you're getting the ACO stamp on them. So if you play an ACO event, you need an ACO stamp bag. 90 bucks, not unreasonable for them. I think they're well worth it. And if you if you like that faster style bag, you like to run bags in the hole, you definitely want to check these game ons out. If you've thrown these game ons, I'd love to hear your feedback. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, these, these are my first set of blueprint bags that I've reviewed. If you want me to check out some more, drop a comment down below. Let me, let me know which model you want me to throw, which ones you throw, which ones you like, which ones you want to hear me check out. Because I, I, really, I really did like these bags. I, 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 I have no issues with them. So I'm curious to check out some other bags by Blueprint to see how well they play and to see what other type of bags they make out there. So thank you guys so much for your support. And I thank you guys for watching.